Hey everyone, it's Rupert Ali from PhoneReno.com and this is a video unboxing of the new Zen Amaze 701 Full HD device. Now this is the successor to the Zen 701 HD which was announced earlier this year in March and it is a clear upgrade. This has a Full HD display which is compared to the 720p screen on the previous device. It also has a Turbo Class processor which is an upgrade over the MediaTek MTK6589 processor that was on the 701 HD. So with that said, let's take a look at first the box of the device. As you can see, it's rectangular and there's a cut right around here. On the front, you've got the branding of the device and uh, you also see the storage capacity which is 16 gigabytes right over here. Over on the sides, on both the sides, you've got just the Ultraphone branding. Uh, Ultraphone is Zen's brand of uh, upper end uh, high performance devices. So let's move over to the back of the phone, uh, the back of the phone's box. Now you've got the specifications listed over here, right from the 1.5 GHz quad core processor. This is the MTK 6589T processor, which is a turbocharged processor. There's a 5 inch full HD display, 1920 by 1080 pixels. Uh, this is, this uh, panel is manufactured by LG. Uh, moving on, you have a 13 megapixel camera at the back and an 8 megapixel front facing camera. Now, worth noting is that the front facing camera does not have autofocus. Um, Zen also made, makes it a point to mention that the flash uh, has a special capacitor built in which is supposed to make the flash a bit stronger, but we'll be testing that out in a review. Moving on, there's 1 gigabyte of RAM and 16 GB of internal memory. The phone is unfortunately running on Android 4.2.1. And we're surprised to see that this does not have a more recent build of software on board. Uh, the battery is 2050 mAh. You get 3G, Wi-Fi, BGN, GPS and Bluetooth of course. There are also the usual sensors like the accelerometer, magnetometer, proximity or ambient light sensor. The display has a Corning Gorilla Glass 2 solution on top of it. And it's of the OGS that is the one glass solution display variety. Um, in terms of build quality, there's another interesting aspect to it that Zen keeps mentioning is that the phone has a, has a magnesium frame around it. While the rest of the phone is plastic, it's nice to see that uh, there's a bit of a focus on the build quality and that's done with the magnesium frame. So let's move on and see what's included inside the box of the phone. Sliding it open, you see another piece of paper that has the ultra phone branding on top of it. Removing it, you see the phone right there. So there you go, that's the Zen Ultra Phone 701 Full HD, a 5 inch Full HD panel. Uh, the phone does seem to look quite a bit like the Nexus S. Moving over to the back, you've got a textured finish. Uh, the phone does come with a guard right on top of it. There's the 13 megapixel camera and this is hyper reflective. So we'll come back to this shortly. Putting this aside, let's see what else is included in the box. Moving the cover, there's another piece of paper over here. You get a flattened micro USB to full size USB cable. This will obviously work with the with the charger. Let's open it. So you can see that this is of the tangle free variety. And this is definitely a very cool move by Zen. Uh, moving on, you have the battery pack. This is a 2050 mAh battery and clearly as you can see the phone has a removable battery so you can swap this out in case you need extra power. Let's see what else is included in the box. So as you can see the phone comes with a pair of in-ear style, earbud style earphones. Uh, there is a call no, there's no call answer button over here, there's just the microphone. So you'll need to respond to calls using the uh, the controls on the phone itself. The earbuds also do not come with any replaceable sizes. So in case you feel that the earbuds are a bit too tight for you or they're too small, uh, there is unfortunately no arrangement for you to replace these. So you'll probably have to use your own earbuds in that case. Let's see what else is included. There is... There is of course the 
the AC plug and uh, it has a, my, a USB port over here so you can use this to charge up your phone of course using the flattened cable that we mentioned above and the charger is rated for 1 ampere so we're not expecting it to be the fastest charger out there but it should be reliable and fairly quick uh, of course you can upgrade to a 2.1 ampere charger which is probably going to charge up your phone at uh, a bit faster than double the rate but that's probably not recommended just use the default charger in addition to that In addition to that you get the warranty cards and the service center list. So this is a list of all the service centers for Zen devices and in case, we hope not, but in case you need to get your phone repaired, this is what you'll have to refer to. So let's talk about the phone now. This is the Zen Amaze 701 Full HD device. It's got a 5 inch Full HD screen of course which is of the OGS IPS variety. What that means is it's that a, it's a one glass solution that means the screen, the digitizer and the layer on top they're all fused into one single layer so in case you do drop your phone or you break your screen unfortunately the entire panel will have to be replaced so you'd better be careful with it but the good part about it is that it reduces the air gap between the digitizer layer and the glass on top and this results in a pure, more beautiful a more vibrant image it is also of the IPS variety which is in plane switching now this facilitates better viewing angles better colors natural colors and a brighter display as well uh, one of the most interesting aspects of this phone is that it has an 8 megapixel front facing camera now this is pretty much unprecedented and we're not really sure that anybody needs an 8 megapixel front facing camera but if you do it's right there unfortunately the camera does not have autofocus capabilities so that is a bit of a bummer uh, the phone also has capacitive buttons below here moving over to the side you get the volume rocker over here and on the right side of the phone is the power lock key over at the back you have a slight texture to it this is a 13 megapixel camera uh, this is a 5 element lens according to Zen and we will be sure to test out the capabilities of the phone soon enough there is also an LED flash right next to it beyond that there's a slit for the speaker grill and you've got Zen and Ultra Phone brandings right here let's see what is inside the phone removing the plastic back cover Here you see that the phone comes with two SIM card slots. These are full size slots. Uh, one of them is GSM only while the other one supports both GSM and WCDMA. Uh, these are both dual standby device uh, SIM card slots. So you can't use them together simultaneously. There is also a micro SD card slot right here which is used to expand the 16 GB of storage that is built in. So let's slot in the battery. This is a 2050 mAh battery as we mentioned earlier. Slot that in right there. Snap back the cover and let's start up the phone. So that's the intro, that's the boot animation for the Zen 701 Full HD. As you can see already that the phone screen is very bright it's very crisp uh, you can see there's absolutely no pixelation over here but we'll see more of that once we get into the phone itself so we'll skip all of this for now so that's the Zen 701 full HD as you see out of the box now the um, experience is quite similar to what you would see on a stock Android device there's of course Zen's own custom uh, wallpaper behind it but um, from the face of it customizations are very minimal and this is what Zen has also said that um, the customizations are basically just a few applications that have been pre-bundled which a user might already want which includes something like a flashlight app or a cricket game which is very popular in India there's also an office suite built in which is the Kingsoft office so 
in a brief experience we can see that the interface seems to be fairly smooth though there is also a bit of a hint of a lag which we suspect is because of the 6589T processor not really being able to cope up with the full HD display on the phone but this is a bit premature so there you go that was the unboxing of the Zen 701 full HD and a quick overview of the intro sequence and the phone booting up we'll be having the full review up for you very soon over on phonearena.com if you enjoyed the video please do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to your youtube channel thanks for watching